Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Don. Me? Uh, so a commenter told me about this ring down here. I don't remember ever finding a ring down here, but if it's the ring he said it was, I've had that ring before. There might be two of them in the game. Uh, it's called the wi Wing, the Ring of Wizardry. Huh? At once, you spoke at me. I am gone. So I have her grab it. Yes, at once. If it's the ring that I think it is, then it gives you twice as many first level spells uh, that you can memorize. I'm leaving Zar behind because he's ever encumbered. I just want to clear out around this wall real quick. Uh, again, that just comes to... I should have found that. That's just a lack of diligence on my part. I'm excited. It's the beginning of the game. I'm familiar with it, so I'm blowing through all these areas. I just need to slow down, pay more attention. But I'm pretty sure I never found a ring there uh, in my previous playthroughs. What can I do to help? You need me? Huh? At once. I mean, I'm not saying that it wasn't there. I'm just saying that the ring that I found there, I found elsewhere in my previous playthroughs. Come on, Zar. Yes! Jerk. Okay, I think she's the one that wants the one of the belts that I have. <laughs> yes? Hey there, you new here, aren't you? Can I trouble you for a moment? Uh, certainly, milady. Speak your mind. Such manners. Well, I need a gruff hand for this task, so keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins within sight of this very inn's walls, and I need you to return the favor. They took my ring, and that's all I want back. Will you do it? Uh, I will help you. I thank you. The creatures are just north of the inn. I swear I could almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back here when you get it. You'll know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring, and very striking. I should already have it, because I already took out the hobgoblins. Yeah. And there is no reward for this, except for reputation gain, uh, because as she said, she was robbed, so she doesn't have anything. But you can loot her chests without repercussion. Uh, I thank you. This ring was a gift when I set out on my own. I couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old hobgoblin having it. You're a good sort, and I'll say so to anyone that asks. Must we be so insufferably charitable? So Zara and Montaran don't like her reputation going up because they are evil. Uh, but we were at 12, which was average. Now we're at 13, which is popular. So that'll see a decrease in prices in stores, uh, as well as my charisma bonus. So we're going to get things for pretty cheap. What could I do to help? Goody, goody, at once. Make me sick. It pays to be good in this game. What you want? This way. You need me? Lockpick yep. failed. I'll try it again. I've done had enough of this. You could do it. I believe in you. Come on now. All right. Huh? Your voice this is better be good. I'll do your toil. There we go. Got it. Yes, I'm here to help. Some money and a gem. What could I do at once? At once. There is another quest here that we've already completed. Uh, they're going to ask for a belt back. The, it, the argument could be made that it's worth keeping the belt because it's uh I'm here to help. It's a pretty good belt early on. I don't need a regular longsword. I could sell it. What need you this is inventory it? looking like. Go suck your blade. I care not. This way. You need me? I'm here to help. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I've done had enough of this. She's not very good at this. You spoke at me? I'll do your toil. Well, I don't want to bash it open, but I guess I can. Huh? 
I'm here to help. Now, what is in this darn chest? It's under such a good lock and key here. Yep. I'm gone. Stop! Hardly worth my time. I care not. I've done had enough of this. Huh, you're a queer fellow. This way. What's the noise? I just can't get into it right now. I'll do your toil. What you want? This way. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, they're not going to be with us for very long. Um, we'll get two more of our permanent companions in this in here, and then all we need to do is replace Montaran and Zar. As I and as I just stated, they won't be around for very long. I'm going to leave Zar here while I explore. This building always reminded me of something from, like, Tatooine. Tarnish? Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the Friendly Arm Inn? I'm here to meet some friends. Oh, you must be whom I am to meet, then. I'll take you to your friends, but first I should be sure that you're the correct person. Is your name Donal? Uh, why, yes, it is. Perfect. You're indeed the person I seek. Hold still a moment, won't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot this guy ambushes us. Ugh. You need me? Zara, run away. Something troubling you. What need you dead? Yes. Um Your voice is ambrosia. Is there any spells up because I haven't rested? Alright, read his read his note, not weed it. Bounty notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed on the head of Donal, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Enthusiastically! Must we go voice? Alright, Zara, you stay here. You need stay out of trouble this time. Help. And everybody else, stay with me. What you want? This way. <laughs> so here's a temple. You are welcome here in Gal Glitter Gold Sight. Uh, Galana Mirashade. Uh, for a bit of respectful coin, we can cure what ails thee. If you need. Uh, what sort of cures here do you have available? Should be able to identify some of these things. Yeah, so, Wing of Residry, Ever Memory. Long ago, a Grand Wizard from Am was removed to have defied Mistra's limitations on the magical arts. Legend spoke of this wizard being able to cast spells without the limitation of memorization. In the end, it was found that his powers stemmed from the several magical rings he had made for himself. His reclaimed everlasting memory was a hoax, though his rings continued to be one of the most sought-after items in the realms. So this is the, uh, oops, where'd it go? 
girdle of masculinity, femininity. It, it just changes your sex around. It doesn't change your voice. It just changes your appearance, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's not useful for my character since I'm a male. But if you play a female character, there's a few things that are locked behind uh, being a male. Uh, so you can use that to trick people, essentially. Uh, so Elves Bane, that's the one. Uh, I shouldn't have identified that. Oh well, that's fine. Elves Bane is for a quest, and I won't be keeping it. I guess I can't do what I have uh, equipped. Okay, so Elves Bane, a girdle of piercing, Elves Bane. An infamous highwayman in his day, Pandar of Scardale made quite a name for himself, vexing the elves of Cormanthor Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law, and with the aid of his, this girdle, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but effective substitution. So you get an armor class plus three versus missiles and piercing attacks. Pretty good. At once. Alright, let's identify these. Honestly, let's not waste money on this, because one of the companions we're about to get might be able to identify these for me instead. Yes, I'm here to help. <laughs> Alright, let's finish exploring around town, then we'll go ahead inside. Oh, I realize there's two entrances to the okay. I mean, that makes sense. It's the same building. But. What need ye dead? Go suck your blade. What could I do to help? I don't think there's anything I'm up here, but I'm going to check anyway. And then we'll head inside. So here's Dorn. Uh, we'll run across him later, I'm sure. Hmm. It's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing would please me more. Yes. So he's actually one of my favorite uh, classes in the game. Actually, he is my favorite class in the game, a black guard. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Hi, right, Jopi. I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't can't get there to see him. How come the roads are cut off? Where have you been the, these past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on ye. Surely you must have fled some on your trip here, unless you came by the west road, that is. Uh, why is the west road still open? If there's ever a book shortage, that road to Candlekeep will be the most dangerous of them all, I assure you. But these folks are after metal, so they're sticking mainly to the larger trade routes between Baldur's Gate and Om. And guess what? This here inn is smack dab in the middle of it all. What could I all do right. to help? Uh, I don't think the has anything to say, does he? I need some help. <gasps> Arg, look at these forks and tankards. This iron shortage shows no mercy on us drunkards and gormans. Uh, whatever could be wrong with your fork and tankard? They be made of iron, yet they bend under the weight of this inn's meager offerings, and the handle breaks on me tankard to spill this <coughs> spill this rat spit of an ale into my lap. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's acting up. Don't know what's going on. I'm under attack. <coughs> That's super frustrating. R, Nessie, give me another. I need some ale. Is there any way I can help you? Yes, rim your eyeball onto this blade to see if it be cursed with this metal weakness too. Ah, right, never mind. 
Just kick me out of this place and send me amongst the very brigands who might have, who might covet me rotten tankered. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> All right, Nessie. I hope our establishment's to your liking. Welcome to the Friendly Arm Inn. Looks like you had a rough journey. Now, this place is a fortress. Why all the security? Uh, Bentley wanted the inn to be a safe haven for all sorts of travelers. Anyone can stay here, but we don't tolerate any troublemaking within these walls. Did Bentley build this place? It's so solid. It looks like it's been here forever. Oh no. Bentley and Galana didn't build the inn. They found it. They're part of an adventuring party, not unlike your own. In the first few years following the, the time of troubles, when all the gods were walking the surface of our world, the inn was actually the hold of a powerful undead priest of Baal, god of murder. Hmm. Fitting. With the evil cleric weakened by the death of his god, Bentley and Galana were able to destroy him once and for all, thus laying claim to his troubled fortress. They must have lots of stories to tell. I'm sure they do. But this inn is their life now. They don't like to dwell on the past. You're as likely to get a tale out of them as you're to as you are to get a tooth from the mouth of a hen. It's been a pleasure meeting you, however. I do hope you enjoy your stay. I hope our establishment's to your liking. I see. Ah, uh, yes, the roads are crazy. Who are you, anyway? My name is Nessie. The Mirror Shades hired me to work at the inn almost five years ago, and now I wouldn't leave it for the life of me. It's wonderful here, with new faces passing through every day. Ah, uh, so who are the new faces here now? With the roads being what they are right now, there aren't too many faces around here that are new anymore. Anshi has been taking his time to write a new book, and Khalid and Jahira have been waiting anxiously in the corner over there, sleeping in shifts to make sure they don't miss whoever it is they're waiting for. Dorn's over there in the opposite corner, as far from Khalid and Jahira as possible. I'd steer clear of him if I had a choice. Who else? Let's see. Landrin's on the top floor, drinking up a storm. Then there was, well, Tarnesh. I'm really sorry he caused you trouble. He was all written charm until he heard that there were visitors at the gate. We don't allow any uh, fighting here. We have very strict rules about that sort of thing, but the guards say he jumped out of the shadows at you and there was nothing you could do. That's really about it. Everyone else has been here for the past two months at least. We're so full that there's even talk of letting people throw down their bedrolls in, uh, in the temple. Hey, you stay out of my kitchen. Uh, you'll mess up my art. Someday I is gonna cook for the Duke himself. Bet you there's less fist fights in the palace, so you can enjoy a meal from start to finish. Oh, I can't use it, doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to store it. Oh, here's Khalid and Jahira. They're who we're here to meet. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Good day, friend. You're the child of Gorion, are you not? I recognize you from his letters. For he writes of you often. Forgive my manners. I'm Jahira, and this is Khalid, my husband. Uh, g good to know you. We're old friends of your adopted father. Is he not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If, if he has passed, we share your loss. Gorion often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet, any, meet an untimely end. However, you're much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find your l lot in life. It'd be, fitting, it'd be a fitting last service to Gorion that we should go first to Nashgill, Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. Uh, you would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We're to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gaskill. Yeah, I'm already going to Nashgill. My current companions wish to visit there as well. Indeed? Interesting. In that case, I think we should definitely travel as one. You can never be too careful about the dangers of the open road wherever they may what it, wherever they may spring from yes all right two more companions so uh Khalid is a fighter 
Pretty straightforward. Uh, he has okay stats. Uh, he has no weapon style bonuses yet. Oh, yep, man, he's proficient in longsword. Um, you know, I forgot that he was good in longsword. I should have gone for Warhammer in mine. Typically, I would go for Warhammer on Paladins. I think it's just the best Paladin weapon. Um, hmm. I was thinking more about the second game. When I did this. Okay, well, it'll be okay. I'll still get enough pips so I can put points into something else. It'll be fine. And then, uh, Jahira here is a... Druid. Don't know why I had trouble remembering that. Uh, this character can use the abilities of a fighter and a druid. The weapons are restricted to only those allowed by the druid's ethos. This character may specialize in, but not, use, but not master, any weapon they can use. I think she's good. What's she good at? Core Staff Sling. I'm going to end up giving her a sling. Uh, I don't want her on the front lines. But she has some spells we can cast as well. Alright, so yeah, Armor of Faith, Bless, uh, Cure Light Wounds, Detect Evil, Doom, Entangle, Shillalag, whatever this does. Ah, uh, that's right, Magical Cudgel. She currently has Entangle and Cure Light Wounds up. Okay. What could I do to help? Alright, so now we have three of our five permanent companions. At once. I don't need to bring everybody everywhere. Everybody chill out. Yep. This way. You need me? I care not. This way. Get out of the way. Come on now. At least. All right. At go. once. I guess I can try my Tarn real quick. Something troubling. I don't know who has a higher lock pick. Let me check. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, it's the same. So they have the same <laughs> chance of opening these locks. Fine. Yes, I'm gonna go bash it open. Once. Come on now. That's annoying. What could I do to help? I'm here to help. Oh, you could talk to this nobleman. A man shouldn't speak to his better unless spoken to first. Do you have an excuse for barging in here? Unless you're here to make the beds, I want you out. Now, yeah, pardon the interruption, but what is your business here at the inn? My business is just that. My business. If this answer is not good enough, I suggest you complain to Bentley at the bar. Tell him that you broke into my room and demanded to know my personal affairs. I'm sure he'll express sympathy for you as he has the guards escort you off the property. I trust you'll be leaving now. Good day to you. You need me at once. Jerk. Can I take your stuff? Alright, there's Anchi. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Have you heard? Uh, there's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of the Friendly Arm Inn. I had to bargain my new girdle off... My new girdle of piercing for my life out there. Wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you can get that belt back for me, back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. Talk to him again. Can I get better than the stability stone walls provide? Uh, thanks for getting this back to me. Darn weird ogre, uh, though, don't you think? Here's 95 gold pieces for your trouble, and a new history book I've just completed. Dagger, I'm not super worried about. You have need of me? I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. At once. <laughs> I can, but try. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, can I? I can, but try. So we're gonna deal with our inventory here in a minute. We're gonna head downstairs and do some trading. What could I do to at once? All right, where's the meaning of this intrusion? I pay good money for my privacy. By what right do you disturb it? Uh, might I inquire as to what your business he is here at the at the arm? No, you certainly may not. My business is my concern, and so it shall remain. Be gone from my quarters before I call the guard. So everything locked. We need to. Stop worrying so much about people stealing your stuff. I mean, what are the chances of someone coming in here and trying to steal your stuff anyway? What you want this way? Hey, goody goodies make me sick. I sit here and try and do this all day, and I might eventually finagle it open. You need me? I'm here to help. It's probably not worth it though. We we'll always come back later because we'll once. be here multiple times in the future. Like we're not gonna. <laughs> At once. We'll, we'll return to the front of the arm in several times, so it's not a not a big deal if we can't get it now. You have need if none are better. What does he have on? Splint mail. Okay. I didn't identify his dagger. This is a dagger plus one. I'm here to help. Yeah, I might spend some time off camera trying to open up these uh, chests and stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll leave everything that's in the chest in there and then I'll just go around and grab everything uh, in the next episode. Might just be beyond my capabilities right now to open, but. Ooh, that'd be good for uh yep. ammo in here. What could I I'm here to help? I care not. You need me? I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> we'll talk to Landrin here in a second, and then we'll uh, continue on our way. I should be trying to bash these as I inspect them. No time to chit chat. About time you showed. Here, I need these tunics clean and pressed by this eve. Be extra careful with the golden pantaloons. It took 15 women and a small boy from Kalimshan 12 days and 4 nights to weave them. So careful in the seams. Well, get going. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Pantaloons pressed and ready by tonight, or breakfast is free, sir. Done and done. Be on your way. Here's a couple of. Uh, here's an, an extra couple of coins. Put in a pleat that would make Daddy proud, if you know what I mean. Now get. Alright, so the golden pantaloons. Uh, pantaloons of a quality heretofore unseen by the eyes of either man or beast. Dynamic styling and comfort that cradles, cuddles, and coddles. Seduce your thighs, cajole your calves. Enjoy golden pantaloons today. Trousers you'd be proud to take, ho take home to mother, if mother rode fast and fought hard. So, they're not super important um, in this game, but you want to hold on to them until the second game. Yes! 
Also, what did I do with the, uh... Oh, there it is. All right. What could I do? You need me? All right, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, we can head back down and talk to the uh, the barkeep real quick. Deal with our inventory. Oops, love, Ka if none are better. love Khalid upstairs. Huh? I'm here to help. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the barkeep. Then we can call it an episode. Then what I'll do is off camera is I'll try to get to those uh, chests. It's been dreadful slow business lately. All right, Bentley Mirror Shade. Iron is a lifeblood of this whole region. I'm sure it's painful when it gets scarce. So what can I do for you? Uh, what do you have to sell? So I can do this for rumors. Um, let's get some dry wine. Yeah, there are no rumors yet. All right, stuff I can sell. Um, sell both of these. Sell all that. Uh, let's see. I won't need this this playthrough, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. For some reason, I don't think I'm supposed to sell the Bloodstone Ring. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I think I need it for something later. Uh, you want to hold on to Ever Memory? It's actually a very good ring. Uh, we don't need all of these short swords. I'll hold on to one of them. Don't need the Bastard Sword or the Morning Star either. No one even uses the Bastard Sword that's currently in my party. So sell all of those. Uh, I think I only need two helmets. I only need one. I uh, don't need all this leather armor. Someone who can um, wear leather armor already has it equipped. Uh, I'll have a spare dagger on his person. I like having one spare um, item for each character in the inventory. Alright, what does he have? We need arrows for her. A sling for her. Plate mail might be worth buying. Eh, probably won't be worth buying, honestly. Uh, I don't know what shield he has. I think he has a large shield. I went past the arrows somewhere. Buckley's Buckler. A rectangle of mammoth hide forms this small shield. No amount of cleansing can dispel the pong of decay from this poorly tanned device, yet somehow the uh, mal malodorous shield fortifies its wielder. Plus one armor class, plus one constitution. No protection against missiles and piercing attacks. It might be worth giving to Jahira and having her use a club for now. Probably not. Uh, actually, let's go and... Oh, it's so expensive, though. I am a sucker... Oop. For unique, uh... Unique items. Oh, oops, I actually bought it anyway. I didn't mean to. I was wondering why my gold was so low. Okay, whoopsies. Well, hey, we have it. Let's use it, I guess. I didn't read the history of Tether. Ah, oh, so much. Yeah. Probably won't. Probably won't read that. Um, so he already has a helmet equipped. So you have one? Alright, he already has one as well. Don't need the quarter staff. Someone else has a quarter staff. Get rid of that. Uh, keep the daggers equipped. I need to identify that. Um, who has the darn arrows? Give those to her. I'm going to give that to her for now. Uh, she can't use it, but I don't want to give it to Zara in case I forget to take it off of him later uh, when we get rid of him. 
Push of invisibility would probably be best on her. Let's give this to Jahira. I didn't mean to buy this, but hey, you know what? There we go. And it does go with the sling, so even better. We'll give these to him for now. Uh, he probably won't be using any of these. Uh, let's cycle this dagger. Oh, dagger plus one. We've already identified it. Perfect. So that dagger will never break. He doesn't need a spare dagger. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Uh, more throwing axes I could do. Uh, yeah. uh, does she have a... I don't know if she's specialized. I know, I'm getting a little distracted here. It's taking longer than I was anticipating. Um, does she have... Short bow. Okay. It's been dreadful slow business lately. I was run out the merchant. Get right back up to snuff, and then we'll... Uh, Then I'll call it an episode. I'm not gonna go about rumors right now. Uh, yeah, let's go and do four. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yes. What could I do to help? All right, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, next episode, I'm gonna try to open up some of these chests off camera, and then hopefully we can. Uh, Continue from there. We're gonna head south immediately once we uh, leave here, down into Baragos, and then continue south. We're gonna head towards Nashville. Because we're on a bit of a time limit for that. Your voice is ambrosia. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.